Now let's begin with the Autoware installation. So first I want to um, install the um, Git Kraken uh, for our um, tutorial series. So you of course don't need to do this but uh, I want the simplicity of using this tool. It also makes it very easy to uh, navigate through the branches of Git. And the next step will be to uh, install it using the steps in the Autoware documentation. So there are two ways to install the Autoware. One of them is through Docker and the other one is the source installation. So I will be using the source installation for this training series. Uh, you can also reach this from the documentation, of course. So in documentation, installation, and source installation, you can find it here. So we have Git Kraken installed. Um, it's also recommending us to uh, install the, sorry, um, Git2. So I'm using a dummy password here. So since this is a fresh installation, we don't have git installed. This has installed it. Now let's clone the Autoware repository. So I generally like to um, create a projects folder here and clone it inside here. So let's... Um, I also want to change the color of this. This is not visible at all. So, I think this unnamed. Let me pick a bright blue. All right. So let's clone the Autoware Git repository. This might take some while because we also combined it with the old uh, Autoware AI uh, Git repository with this one. This should be done really quickly. So right now that command is downloading the Autoware here. Um, so. Um, now let's go to the next step. CD to Autoware. And since we are using Ubuntu 22.04 and for this um, let's install screen fetch for showing our current version. screen fetch to show it. So since we are using Ubuntu 22.04 we need to use um, the humble branch. Here we could have just cloned it with this one but let's use um, git kraken to switch to the other branch. We could also just could check out to the other branch using the command line tool but I also want to show you the git history here. Right, let's sign in with GitHub really quickly. All right, now we can close these annoying things and we will open a repository, which will be the, um, from the home projects, the Autoware. Let's open this repository and we will just switch to the humble branch by double clicking it. So this is equal to just doing git checkout humble. So the reason I opened it here is to show the git history here. But never mind, okay. Now we can proceed with the rest of the things here. Now we have the humble branch set here. Also, in the file manager, you can press Ctrl H to visualize, to show the hidden files too. 
Um, okay, this should be it. Now we have um, two ways to install the dependencies for the autoware. You can either install all of these manually by following these links and typing these commands or you can simply use the Ansible script. So I will be using this one to, for ease of showing it up. Yep, let's run this script and this might take a while. Let's wait. Let's continue. There doesn't seem to be any errors visible here. Okay. So let's go to the autoware directory. So we are already inside here. Let's also see it here. So right now we have um, only two visible folders, Docker and Ansible. I don't know why they look like this. Uh, never mind. So let's make a directory for source and Inside here, we will be um, putting the um, repositories necessary to run the autoware. Uh, so for this, we will be doing this VCS import command. And this is going to um, clone all the repositories from the um, this autoware repos file in the main directory. And this includes autoware messages, common uh, repository, and the most important of these is the universe repository. So this universe repository holds the all the uh, main elements of the autoware, and everything else is like right now um, surrounding it to support it. Um, so generally, when you create a new package, it would be uh, probably developing it for the autoware universe. Now it's cloning all these packages. And let's wait until it finishes. Okay, now they all have uh, downloaded. And I also want to show that you uh, how they look like in the Git Kraken 2. So for this, we will be opening up the repositories inside. Um, so here under projects, autoware, under source, under universe, we have this autoware universe repository. Um, and we will open this up. And in order to understand if something is a repository or not, you need to just uh, find the um, .git folder inside it. So for example, for this autoware folder, if we uh, show the hidden files, there is this .git folder. So this means that this folder is a git repository. And for, um, for example, autoware core and messages, this is another repository, for example. And you can open these, this folder, for example, using this git kraken to show what's inside. Um, yeah, right now this is in the main branch in the universe and right let's go to the next step um, installing the dependent ROS packages so here it's saying the galactic setup bash but um, once we switch to humble completely we will be using the humble one so we need to also do it here i also want to check the uh, bash rc folder that we have so let's open a new tab here go to home and open up the bash rc file. Um, so the Ansible script actually um, added um, the humble setup bash to here. So any new uh, terminal that opens up will be sourcing the uh, ROS to humble uh, so instead of this one. And for the DDS, uh, DDS means uh, data distribution uh, service or system. Um, we, are, we are using the Cyclone DDS and here RMW means the uh, ROS middleware. Um, yeah, it means just ROS middleware. And this is used to uh, communicate uh, the messages on the uh, network layer. 
So since uh, we know that these are here, let's uh, type in here bash so that um, it, this is like very similar to opening up a um, sort of new terminal, but it's just to just source bash RC again. And we will be installing these row step uh, dependencies with this. So here, for, um, these are all commands, and only this uh, last part that starts with uh, dollar sign. This is the roast distro. Uh, this comes from the um, the sourcing that we did before. So let's do this step. Mm, it says you need to do roast step update first. So let's do this first. This shouldn't take long. And then we will be um, doing the previous command again. So for this, you can just go up and down to use your last commands. So the last one is this one. And this should install all the rest of the um, things that's necessary. Now that we have installed all the dependencies, uh, we can proceed to compile the Autover code base. In the documentation, the recommended build type is release. It is good for the production release, but for debugging with good performance, I use release with debug info option. Um, now I will start building the Autover code base with this command. So what's different here is um, I've added two different flags compared to the one here. So this make flags uh, with 12 jobs uh, ensures that each package uses maximum 12 parallel threads while building and the parallel workers um, ensures the number of parallel packages that are built at a time. You can um, tweak these uh, flags or not use them at all uh, depending on your system resources. On my host computer, I don't usually use these. Also, if you have low memory, you should also reduce the number of cores that are used while building it. Um, also, I added this uh, export compile commands here. Um, this CMake flag uh, makes the um, Colcon build um, create a compile commands JSON file. So. IDEs like Visual Studio Code and uh, JetBrains C Lion can use these files to uh, set up the IDE for the uh, workspace. Um, so I've also uh, shared some bash aliases that make using Colcon commands easier. You can add these following files to your uh, .bash aliases file uh, in your home directory. So here for my uh, setup, they are here um, and these get automatically sourced in the uh, BashRC file, um, like here by default. But in order to uh, get them to effect, you need to uh, type uh, bash or just reopen your terminals for them to take effect. So yeah, uh, now I think we can uh, proceed to build the autoware. Also, for these um, bash aliases, I generally use just colbrd, colcom build, release, and debug. So if you expand it with control alt e, um, it will uh, show you what's inside this uh, alias. And if you press it again, control alt e, it will expand it once again. So you can see what it is doing. But for our um, this limited uh, resource virtual machine, I will be using it with like 12 jobs and one package at a time. So this will take a little while. And also I use um, HTOP for monitoring the system resources or also for um, just um, a process manager basically like um, task explorer in windows um, this helps you um, kill the unnecessary tasks uh, in your system so here you can see the uh, how many cores are being uh, used 
how how much memory is being used and the swap space too. Also, you can uh, sort the processes by their CPU usage or their memory usage. So let's run this and we will wait for a while until Autoware compiles. All right, now that we have uh, confirmed that all the packages are uh, built, um, we can proceed to the next step. So these um, errors, um, these are just logs with warnings. Um, these are not important. So you can ignore these kind of things and we can go to the next step.